So guys, to fix this problem, we'll be just using the mouse only because your keyboard's not working. So we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon and then click on Settings. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Accessibility. Then we're going to scroll down and then look for keyboard. You want to click on that. Now once you're on this, you want to enable on-screen keyboard. Now once you're on this, we're going to head over to Search and then with the on-screen keyboard, we're going to type in R-U-N, which will bring up Run. Click on this. I'm going to move this a little bit here. Then once you have the run box open, we're going to type in devmgmt.msc and then click on OK. Now this will bring up the device manager. Now once you're on this, you want to expand keyboards and then you want to try to update all of the keyboards that will pop up. So I'm going to start with the first one. You want to right click on this and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has already been installed, then you want to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to try to install all of these that will come up. Click on next and install it. You want to repeat that for all the keyboards that you have. So once you've done that for the second step, we're going to bring up the on-screen keyboard again. Then we're going to head over to search and then type in CMD, which will bring up this. You want to right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. I'm going to move this real quick and then click on yes. Now once you're on CMD, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. And then it's gonna run this scan. Now once the scan's been completed, you wanna restart your computer and then your keyboard should be working again. But if it's not working, then it might be broken.